It's Makita from At Home with Kita. Thanks for joining me again on another video. So if you are not subscribed to my channel, hopefully you will consider subscribing and also give this video a thumbs up because we will be doing some menu planning today. So if you like that sort of thing, stick around. All right, so I've got my planners here. This is my a normal everyday catch-all planner. I have also got my recipe planner here, which I'm gonna be using uh, to do my menu planning as well. Now you guys will have to excuse my nails. I'm going to forewarn you. I was doing some painting last night. I've got a lot of home projects to do around the house. Hopefully I can film some soon in the future. And so I've got paint all over my nails. So I just want to disclaim that right now um, so you guys don't go in on me later. I hate having bad nails on a video, but today we have to because I can't get the paint off right now. So I just thought I'd let you know that ahead of time. So let's go ahead and start this menu planning process. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and flip to where I keep my menu planner, which is normally just in my weekly spread. I use the Happy Planner weekly meal plan pages, which I absolutely love. I also have a mini Happy Planner that I use for some menu planning as well. And so we will not be pulling that out right now because um, this week we are not using the mini happy planner we're just going to be using this sheet here and um, my recipe planner so the first thing that i do when i'm considering what we are going to be eating for the week this is really just going to be a dinner menu planning video and so i'm just only planning for my dinners and so what i do normally is i figure out first of course what we're going to eat for the week and so i am going to be using this ketogenic cookbook which a friend loaned me i'm loving the recipes in this book and so we're going to use this to find some things that we want to eat for the week and so my husband has really expressed to me that he wants to start eating better he went to the gym yesterday with one of his friends and he is very sore this morning and so now he's on this whole healthy kick and so I think we're all in on the keto now hopefully we'll see how it works out but this week we're definitely going to be cooking keto meals of course since I'm doing the keto diet I haven't been really doing it completely right I know I still have to tweak some things here and there but um, it's it's been a challenge but we're still ch chugging right along so um, I'm gonna go ahead and find out what I want to eat for the week now I use a combination normally of Pinterest which has uh, I have a board that is my keto board and then this cookbook has really come in handy as well so I decided this week we're just only gonna go out of this cookbook because I want to try some new recipes and so I'm gonna go ahead and see what we can find and so let's see, I know it's probably broken up yet by categories. And so I think maybe we're gonna do a little chicken and that's in chapter 11. So let's go ahead and turn to, let's see what page that is. That is page 242. All right, so I tried to zoom in really close for this video because I had a couple of people that said um, my videos weren't close enough so they weren't able to see things. So hopefully you guys can see things a little bit better. I did get a new lens, which I'm so happy about. I got it the other day, so I've been testing it out. And so I think that may help as well. So let's go ahead and just see what we wanna make. Some of this stuff looks really, really good. Ooh, these chicken fajitas look super yummy. How about we do that? Yeah, that looks really good and it looks really simple. There's just about maybe seven ingredients that you need. So I think we're gonna do this, chicken fajitas. And so what I do, um, normally if I already have the recipe written out in my recipe planner, then of course I'll just pull the page out of here. But if I don't have it um, planned out already, which probably for these recipes, I, I don't have it planned out. So what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and grab out three pages, three blank pages. I love this recipe planner, I use it all the time. And so we'll go ahead and just pull three pages out of this planner because we know that these recipes aren't planned out yet. So we're gonna need to plan them out. All right, so I've got my pages here. And so what we'll do first is figure out everything we wanna make and then we'll go ahead and write it in here. And so let's go ahead and write chicken fajitas. Now yesterday was Monday. For Monday's meal, we actually had breakfast for dinner, which was great. It was handy, I had all the items on hand and I wanted something super easy and simple. So that was perfect. So let's go ahead and write in for Tuesday, chicken fajitas, which is today and I'm still using these 
new pens, which I reviewed yesterday on my channel, and I'm still loving them. So that's what I'm using now. So chicken fajitas. So that's what we'll have for Tuesday. Normally I cook three times a week and then we have leftovers on the other day. And so Wednesday will be chicken fajitas as well. And then now we need to find out what Thursday's meal is. And so what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and bookmark this page so that way, or you know what I'll do is I'll write it here. And so that way I'll know what page I'm coming back to. So page 244. See, it didn't have a lot of recipes for chicken, so maybe we'll have to go into the beef section now. This looks really, really good. This is the Easy Campfire Casserole. I love this. It looks really good. My husband loves vegetables. He loves the vegetables. And he loves uh, stir fry type of things. And um, so I think this will be right up his alley. I think he'll love it. The kids may not like all these onions and peppers and stuff. So uh, we'll just pull those out for them. But I think this is going to be great. And if you see here on the bottom of the page, it actually gives you the breakdown of the calories and the fat and all that stuff. So um, what I'll do is when I'm actually writing the recipe out, I try to take note of that. And so that way I know how many calories, uh, not calories, but how many carbs there are. And so I can stay on track with my carb um, goal for that day. And so on each page, it has this little keto um, stats. Okay, so we know we're gonna do the easy campfire casserole. So I'm gonna go ahead and write that down and then I'll take note of the page as well. So let's see, that's Thursday, easy campfire casserole. All right, so we just need one more recipe because again, Thursday is going to move into Friday. Leftovers. So we need something for Saturday. And normally I cook Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And then Sunday's like a free for all or eating out day. And so since in this particular case, I made breakfast for dinner and there's no leftovers, then we're going to go ahead and have to cook for today as well. And so let's see if we can find something else in here that I think the family will enjoy. I love the pictures in this book. Ooh, I love that. That looks so good. Hmm. I think I like that. We love lasagna, anything pasta-like, although I'm sure there's no pasta in here. Um, it looks really good. Hmm, maybe we'll do that. I do love taco bars too, but I'm thinking that skillet lasagna would be perfect. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, let's do that. Skillet lasagna. And again, the stats are here at the bottom. So you can see um, the calories, 311, fat 16.1, protein 27 grams, carbs 13 grams. So that's quite a bit, but it is dinner. Um, and so I'll basically have to save my carbs because that's a lot of carbs. So um, let's go ahead and write skillet lasagna. And I'll write the page number, which is 266. All right, so we have all of our recipes. As you can see, we've got, uh, of course that was yesterday, chicken fajitas, easy campfire casserole, and skillet lasagna. And so the next step in the process is to go ahead and do my recipe planning using these Happy Planner recipe planner pages from the recipe planner. And so I'll go ahead and start writing in and I'll decorate these pages and then um, I probably will not plan all of them out on video today. I'll just write in what they are and put the stats and decorate them. and then then uh, when I get ready to cook them the day before, then I'll go ahead and write them in. So probably maybe this afternoon I'll write in tonight's menu or meal. And then tomorrow afternoon I'll do the same thing for tomorrow because I, I don't want this video to get that lengthy. And so I'll just kind of show you the basics and then I'll show you where I store them. And then we'll do the uh, grocery list and then I'll kind of show you how I order my groceries and everything. So. Yeah, so it's a, it's a long process and normally I do this on Sunday night, but yesterday was Super Bowl. I mean, Sunday was Super Bowl, so uh, and Saturday I had something else going on, so it was super busy weekend, so I wasn't able to do all my menu planning like I wanted to. So, we're going to do it today. All right. So, let's go ahead and start with the skillet lasagna since that's the page I'm on right now. And so I want to make sure that you are in focus. 
So let's move that up because we don't really necessarily need that right now. And we'll, we'll move that up here. And then what we basically want to do is we want to write in the name of the recipe and then we want to write in what's uh, needed and then also how to make it. And so again, we're, we're only going to do the basics today because I don't want this to be a long video. So I'm really just going to write what the name of it is. I'm going to write the little stats from the corner left of uh, the cookbook. And then I'm going to write in the ingredients because it'll make it easy for me when I get ready to write out my list. So let's go ahead and get started with that. And uh, I may also print the picture as well. So we'll see because what I'm going to have to do is take a picture of this book and then um, uh, print it for using my Canon selfie printer. So I'll show you a little bit of that process as well. So let's go ahead and write in skillet lasagna. And I like to note that it is keto because I store them in my recipe uh, planner. So that way I know what is what. So let's write skillet lasagna. All right, and I've got some stickers here that I'm gonna be using, which are the Happy Planner box stickers. Um, I'll see what I can use from here. And then I also keep these stickers in my recipe planner, just a whole bunch of random stickers. And so I'll use those as well to decorate this page and make it look cute. And so let's go ahead and do that now. And I like to just decide what I want my color scheme to be. And so in this particular case, let's see what we want that to be. I like this that says one day at a time, so it's probably going to be a yellow color scheme. And so if we put this up here at the top, that way it'll break up some of that space. And let's do a yellow heart. And let's see what else we can use. And then we'll use these bullet point stickers. So let's see how many we need based on the total number of ingredients that are here. So it looks like according to the recipe, there are one, two, three, four, five, six ingredients that we need. And so what we'll do is we'll go ahead and put the six dots here that we need. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull those. Six. And this is where we're gonna write in the ingredients. Okay, so the recipe calls for 80% lean ground beef. It also calls for sea salt, marinara sauce, chicken breast, mozzarella cheese, and, or, uh, let's see, and fresh oregano. Now what I'll do is I'll tweak the quantities and everything to accommodate for my family because this is just a serving size of four. And of course I want a serving size for eight um, so that way I have leftovers for tomorrow. Okay, so again, I'll fill all this bottom stuff in later um, for the purposes of having a shorter video. Um, what I normally do is I put some either some bullet points just like I did here, or I put in um, one of those little lists. Uh, you know the list I'm talking about. Let me see if I have any here. Yeah, I'll put, in, I'll put in these little lists here. And so I don't happen to have one in yellow, but I'm sure I have one in yellow somewhere else. So we'll do that later. And then I'm gonna go ahead and print the picture. And so what I do is I, take a quick picture of this picture. Normally it's gonna be like a Pinterest recipe so I don't have to do this. Um, but in this case, I will have to do it because it's coming from a cookbook. So I take a picture and then what I do is I go into my, um, and what I'll do is I'll take a picture of the other ones as well because um, I like to make sure that I have uh, a whole full page of pictures so I don't waste printer paper. And so this was page, let's see what the next recipes page was. So I can go ahead and just do all the pictures all at once. And then sometimes if I don't have enough pictures, I'll go ahead and try to pre-plan for maybe like next week and find some photos for maybe recipes I wanna do the next week. And so that way I have a full page of pictures and I don't waste paper once again. So let's turn to page 260 and take a picture of this. Oh, that looks so good, so good. And then uh, page 244 and take a picture of these. Try 
trying to get it as good as possible so that way all right so there we go all right so I've got all my pictures and I do have a video on my channel with how I print using the Canon selfie printer and um, you know just other menu and recipe not menu planning but recipe planning videos I do have a menu planning video also but it's an older video and so this is kind of like an update to that and so you could check those out as well I'll make sure to link those below and so what I do now is I go into my project life app I love the project life app it's it's awesome and then I go into the layout here I change it because I want to have four pa four pictures either four or six um, right now I'm pretty sure I can find four pictures so we'll just do four for now but I do like to use the six so that way I can maximize the sheet of uh, photo paper and so once I do that I'm going to click on the square go into my photos and find that picture I just took it's gonna load in there I'll just kind of tweak the size a little bit so that way it I don't see any randomness okay and then it looks like I've got at least one more picture here that I can choose from let's see yeah I haven't I cooked this Philly cheesesteak meatloaf the other day and I hadn't uh, printed the picture out so I that's why I try to just kind of keep them on my phone um, pictures and then that way when I have enough pictures then I can go ahead and print it out and so I've got the pictures here so I'm gonna go to this little arrow thing at the bottom export it my Canon selfie printer is wireless so once I hit print I see Canon selfie printer and I hit print and I'll take you over there so you can see how it prints out All right, so I've got the picture printed out here. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove the perforated edges. And as you can see, if you don't get it precisely right, if you have wording on there, it's gonna cut it off, which I don't mind because I am actually going to just cut it off anyways. And so the next thing that I do is I go ahead and grab my scissors and I just cut it. And uh, sometimes I like them square, sometimes I don't. It just all depends on my mood. And so what I'll do is I'll just make it look a little more decorative. So what I'll do with this one is I just cut a little, a little bit off the side. And then this one I'll do the same thing except I'll do the bottom as well. And this one I'll round it out because the pot is round at the top so that would be kind of cool. And then this one I will just leave that way and so we are not using this one right now um, I'm sure I have the recipe in my recipe planner probably uh, just missing this picture so I'll stick that in there later and so what I want to do now is I want to go ahead and put these on the pages and so what I do is I just use a little double-sided tape I've got my double-sided tape here so I'll just go ahead and pull a little bit off and so this is the keto skillet lasagna which is right here and I like to place them in various places and so let's see where we want to put this one and of course you're going to need more than one piece of double-sided tape that way you you got it on there nice and secure so sometimes I put it there sometimes I put it there sometimes I put it here it just depends and it also depends on how um, lengthy the recipe is so in this particular case I'll put it here because I think this is a pretty simple recipe so I've got that done and so these are for the other two recipes so I'll, I'll just put those there temporarily so this one is done and so now what I can do um, is I can actually move on to the next one uh, once I have everything planned out then I'll go back and I'll do my grocery list and so uh, and actually let's go ahead and fill out some of this stuff on the side too and so that way we know all of the information we need to to have here so it looks like again this, this uh, particular recipe is going to serve four so I'll need to double up the recipe and then also let's see the main ingredients are ground beef it looks like it's not difficult so I'll put a one the prep time it says three minutes and the cook time it says 10 minutes so this is a this is a, a quick and easy recipe 
the temperature there is no temperature but let's go ahead and put 27 grams of protein and let's put the carbs here as well 13.3 so that way we know the stats and we can put the calories too which is 311 So that makes it, uh, we, can, we can see it quickly and we can kind of plan out and make sure we stay within our carb limit. And so let's see, do we wanna add more decor to the page to make it look cuter? So we're staying within that yellow color scheme. Oh, here we go. I can go ahead and put this list on now. It says H2O at the top, but it doesn't bother me. But again, we're not gonna plan out the specifics of the recipe. I just like to have it all decorated. And so that way, when I take this and put it in my planner, um, you know, as the week goes along and just daily, I can kinda, you know, go in there and plan it out. And I, you know, makes it easier instead of trying to plan it all out in one day or one sitting. So I think that's good. Yeah, I think that's good. So we can move on to the next recipe. So the next recipe is going to be, let's do the chicken fajitas. And that is on page 244. So chicken fajitas, let's move this over so you can see. It's on actually on the other page, so you're probably not gonna be able to see it unless I put it maybe here. Yeah, because it's here. All right, so chicken fajitas, but I also want you to be able to see what I'm writing. Okay, that's a little bit better. Chicken fajitas serves four. Main ingredient is gonna be chicken. And let's see, difficulty doesn't look like it's difficult at all. And the prep time says that it is uh, eight minutes. But the cook time says six hours. So this must be a slow cooker recipe. The Happy Planner recipe planner does have pages like this that has a little crock pot on the side. That way you can indicate it, that it's a crock pot meal. But um, I didn't pay attention to this little logo up here that says crock pot. And so that's okay though. I'm, I'm fine with that. Um, the temperature does not say temperature. Nope. I'll probably cook it on maybe probably medium. And um, notes here, 342 calories, 342. Protein is 18 grams. And carbs, this has a low amount of carbs, it's six grams. So perfect. All right, so now we can go ahead and write in the name of the recipe, which is keto. Remember, I like to mark keto, so I'm gonna pull one of these stickers to write keto. And it's chicken fajitas. All right, so I went ahead and wrote in chicken fajitas. Sometimes I like to get fancy, sometimes I just keep it simple and in terms of my handwriting. In this particular case, I think I'm just gonna keep it simple. Okay, and then now we can go ahead and write in the ingredients, which looks like it's pretty simple. It calls for skin on chicken thighs. Oh, we need our bullet points. And I wasn't gonna use yellow for this color scheme. I'm not sure why I just chose that. I think it was just sitting right in front of me. And so I just, I don't know, I just picked yellow. So let's see if we can find a list, which is right here. So another one of those H2Os, except this time we'll put it at the top. Two bell pepper. Then it, it calls for onions, chicken broth, taco seasoning. And uh, let's see, it says Boston lettuce leaves or zucchini tortillas, which has a separate recipe for that on page 212. Um, cilantro, salsa, and taco salad dressing, which has a separate recipe for that as well. So I'll need to make sure that I take note of the page numbers these recipes are on, and then also make sure that when I'm making my grocery list that I include the items needed to make those as well.
All right, so I have written down all of the ingredients that we need. Again, we'll fill this other stuff out a little bit later. I do wanna add a little bit of decor to it. And so that way it looks cute. And then we can go ahead and add that photo, which I have right here. And so we can add that photo. It is a very short recipe. There's only two steps. And so I've got pretty much you know, all the whole space of page to use for this recipe. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that sticker here. Uh oh, sorry, I was a little out of focus. I put this good things are going to happen sticker. And then on the back side of that, I need to put a little double-sided tape if I can find it. And so that way the photo stays on the page. And sometimes I like to do a little outline of, of the photo. To me, it just, I don't know, adds a little something, something to it. Okay, and so again, it's just two steps, so I've got plenty of space here to work with. And so we've got this recipe here, which we're making this week, and then this recipe here, which is done. So we have one more to go, which is going to be the easy campfire casserole. So let's go ahead and write it in. And we've got the photo here. Easy campfire casserole. What color do I want to use? How about let's use this orange because that kind of works well with the photo because again, I like to write keto so that way we know and it doesn't get mixed up when I'm actually putting it inside of my recipe planner. So we're going to do keto. And it's the easy campfire casserole. I am really working on my penmanship. I mean, it's really a challenge. Um, I don't know. I don't think I ever really had good penmanship like in school and stuff. So I'm not sure like how to, my cursive. Now I can write in little cute fonts and stuff here and there, but I don't know, for the most part, I'm really not satisfied with um, my handwriting. So I think I'm gonna erase that. Again, the beauty of having the erasable pens. So as you can see, I got a blank slate to start with. And so let's not do cursive. <laughs> let's just keep it simple. I bought this book to practice uh, the hand lettering and I'm waiting for it to come in, but I'm super excited to start that process because I really wanna learn how to hand letter. Seems like it comes so easy to some people, but for me, I think it's gonna be a real challenge. And so, um, so I'm excited to get that book. All right, so we got the name of the recipe there. So let's go ahead and actually put the photo on the page. And let's see how lengthy this recipe is. Page 260. Oh, that one's a little bit lengthy. So we wanna make sure we have enough space here. So I may need to shuffle some stuff around. And so we used orange. I have these orange little um, tacks here. So we'll use those to write in the ingredients. I love these, they're so cute. And even if it's not a tack directly on that line, I'll probably still use it to, to write something in. I'm really just using it to make it look cute. So do you guys do menu planning? I love menu planning. It helps me keep my sanity. If I didn't do menu planning, then I would be all over the place. So I have to sit down on a Sunday night and really plan out what we're gonna eat for the week. Otherwise, it, things get chaotic. And so it really is really helpful for me. So you guys do that as well? Or how do you do your menu planning? Let Drop me a note in the comments below and let me know how you do your menu planning. Um, I'm always trying to pick up new ideas from people. So I'd love to hear from you guys. So let's go ahead and write in the ingredients. So it looks like it says we need bacon fat. So bacon fat. And then also 80% lean ground beef. And it looks like we need some onions, mushrooms, bell peppers, tomato, zucchini, salt, unsalted butter, seasoned salt, black pepper, and ketchup. So that's all that's needed for this recipe. So that looks pretty simple and easy. All right, so we do have extra bullet points here, so I could just pull these and put them down here. 
so that way they don't go to waste all right the next thing is let's see let's just add a little deco here and there and uh, let's look at the serving and all that stuff so it says the prep time well first it says it serves four so again we'll be uh, doubling up on this recipe and then the main ingredient looks like it's ground beef doesn't look that hard at all prep time it says seven minutes cook time it says 20 minutes no temperature and notes here we're gonna do the calories awesome and then also it has this little serves with at the bottom here um, but I'm not gonna do anything with this right just yet until I figure out if I'm gonna serve it with anything and if I am what I'm gonna serve it with and so we'll figure that out later and so this is done so we are done with all of our recipes in terms of pre-planning it out and again I'll write in the instructions as time goes along and so since I've got that part done I don't need this cookbook anymore and so the next step in my process is actually doing my grocery list and so let's go ahead and put this away and so I don't I no longer need the recipe cookbook or the recipe planner and so I'm gonna take these stickers they just stay right in here and this goes in my kitchen and this has a lot of recipes in here I do have a recipe channel I do have a recipe flip through video on my channel if you're interested in all of the recipes that I have included in this so far I've got a lot of recipes planned out and so make sure to check that video out I will link it below as well and so I use this a lot and so I'm done with this and so this will just go in my kitchen and then uh, we are working with these and so the next step is going ahead and pulling all of the items here that I need and putting them on my grocery list which is just on the back of this which is perfect I love these and so let's move that back out the way and let's see what we need all right so we need that ground beef and it looks like we need that for two separate recipes or do we need it for three two because one is a chicken recipe and so we need let's see two pounds actually we need four pounds because remember we're doubling up on that recipe so we need four pounds of ground beef And then we need some oregano, which, you know, I'm probably, I probably have some in my pantry. And so we're not gonna write rest, uh, oregano, which is from this recipe here. Um, we do need marinara. We do need some chicken breast from the deli. And we need some mozzarella cheese. See, this recipe is really simple and easy. So I like simple and easy. Okay, so we're done with this one. And then on the back here, we need some chicken thighs. We need two bell pepper, which is probably gonna be four because I'm doubling up. So we'll see, because I'm not a big fan of bell peppers, but my husband is. We need onions, chicken broth. We need taco seasoning. I, I don't know if I'm gonna do store bought. We're gonna. I'm gonna see because there is a recipe here on page 110 um, on how to make the taco seasoning needed for this. But I may just buy it from the store. And we'll see. We'll see how the recipe compares. Cilantro. I love cilantro. It's awesome. I mean, it's like my favorite. Salsa zucchini oh I butchered that and uh, zucchinis in two recipes I think let's see because it's for the zucchini tortillas and then the taco salad dressing um, but there's separate recipes for those so I'll have to remember to come back here and write in the ingredients for those and so the last one I already did that one didn't I yeah is this campfire casserole so I need onions so we're gonna need more onions so I'm just gonna put three onions here but I may have that in my pantry so I'm gonna double check that and then I need some tomatoes so it's important to check your pantry first just to make sure that you don't have what what's listed here and that's all I need it's just tomatoes because I already have zucchini marked off here I already have butter in my pantry oh I need a yellow bell pepper And I already have the beef 
here so that's it this stuff is look this is my list that I need for three recipes um, besides the like the dressing and the zucchini tortillas and so that's pretty cool okay so again I've got to go back here and mark in those uh, other items that I need to make the dressing and the um, and the tortillas which I'm I might have the stuff on at hand which I'm hoping if not then I'll go ahead and write those here as well as some other things that my family needs for the week and then I'm ready to order my groceries and so what I do is let's go ahead and pop this back in my planner and I've got all my recipes here that I'm making for the week on the front side and then on the back side here I have got my grocery list and then what I do with the recipes is I go to my tab here which is my home tab within my home tab I've got my food my house cleaning my budget and all that stuff and so let's go to let's eat as you can see there's a tab here that says let's eat this is pulled from the old recipe planner and so I just keep this in my planner here and then what I do is I store my recipes that I'm gonna make for the week within this tab and so we'll go ahead and put these here so that way when I get ready to cook for the week, all I do is pull out this planner. I don't have to fumble within multiple planners. I just pull this planner out. I know what I'm eating for the week and then I can go ahead and make the recipes from there. And so the remaining items that I have to do is just go ahead and plan for these recipes in terms of the preparation part of it. It's already decorated. It's ready to go. I know what I need. And so now let's go ahead and flip back to the weekly where I have the actual menu. And so now we need to order the groceries. And so I'm not going to go through the whole entire process because I don't have everything here that I need to order or I need to uh, purchase. Um, but what I do is I go onto the Kroger app. Um, I use the Kroger click list as well as sometimes I use the Walmart um, pickup service. I love it because it's easy and it's convenient. In this particular case, I'm going to use Kroger. Um, Kroger is a fee to it. It's uh, $4.99 and Walmart is free. And so sometimes I like to go between the two. I find that Kroger has most items that you need because it is a grocery store um, Walmart is good because if you need anything other than groceries you can also add that to your grocery cart as well and so what I do is I go here and then I go ahead and start building my list from here and so you'll just type in whatever ingredients you need and then you'll add it to your cart and then you go through the motions to order through click list you set up your time for pickup and then you go pick it up and it's as simple as that and there's only a select amount of Kroger's available in my area that have the click list as an option and so I typically go to this one Kroger which I know has that as an option and they already know me and everything goes well I don't have any issues at all it works out perfectly for me and so that's how I normally do my grocery shopping is I just order it and then I go pick it up and it's just easy for me you know some people like going to the grocery store and going in there and actually looking at labels and all that stuff but I'm not a big fan of that you know I, I'm okay with just ordering it online and then just going to pick it up so that is my process for menu planning so I've got my menu here for the week I'm all set up I know what items I need from the grocery store and then we've got the recipes here so when I get ready to cook the recipes for the week we are ready to go and so that's just a super simple way that you can do menu planning and so hopefully you guys uh, got some value from this video hopefully it helped you with your menu planning um, I absolutely love menu planning it's uh, very therapeutic for me and um, I just find that it keeps me really organized and I'm all about organization so um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and if you did you'll give me a big thumbs up and of course consider subscribing to my channel if you have any questions make sure to leave it in the comments below and uh, I'll see you guys on the next video Thank you.